Hi, Year 11. Today what we're looking at is solving quadratic equations by completing the square. So not all trinomials will factorise, so other methods need to be used to solve quadratic equations. To solve quadratic equations such as x squared minus 6x plus 3 equals 0, which will not factorise, we can use the method of completing the square. We use the perfect square a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b or squared, or we use a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b or squared. So to solve quadratic equations, we have a couple of steps and they are to first move our constant to the right hand side of the equation. We then halve our coefficient of x. We then square our halved coefficient of x and add it to both sides of our equation. We write our halved coefficient of x in a perfect square bracket and then solve to find x. So our first example here, we have x plus 3 all squared equals 11 and we've been asked to solve it. So what we must do to both sides to get rid of the squared is plus or minus the square root. When we do this, we're left with x plus 3 is equal to the plus or minus of root 11. We are then trying to get the x by itself, so we must minus 3 from both sides. When we minus 3 from both sides, we are left with x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 11. Have a go at solving y minus 2 all squared equals 7 by pausing the video now. Okay, what we... What you should have done is plus or minus the square root to both sides. So we get y minus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 7. Then we want the y by itself, so we must plus 2 to both sides. When we do this, we get y equals 2 plus or minus root 7. Now let's look at completing the square. We want to solve by the completing the square for this first one here. So our first step is to move our constant to the right hand side. So we're going to minus 3 to both sides. This leaves us with x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 3. Now we want to leave a gap. What we're going to do on our next line is we're going to write x minus close our bracket squared equals. What we want to do and what goes in this space here is half of our coefficient of x. So what is half of 6? 3. Then what we do is we write our 3 up here and we square it to both sides. When we square 3 to both sides, so 3 squared is 9. So what we are doing is we are adding this 3 to both sides. Now minus 3 plus 9 is equal to 6 and we have x minus 3 all squared is equal to 6. From here we just do exactly what we did in example 1 which is we plus or minus the root to both sides and oh excuse me and this leaves us with x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus 6 and then we plus the 3 to both sides, which leaves us with x equals 3 plus or minus, oops, I'm missing my root there, root 6. Okay, pause the video and have a go at solving by completing the square y squared plus 20y plus 12 equals 0 by following the steps. Okay, what you should have done is, oops, minus 12, our constant from both sides to move it to the right hand side. You are then left with y squared plus 20y, leave a gap, equals negative 12. On the next line, you write y and you halve the coefficient of y. So the half of 20 is 10. So we write plus 10 squared, and then we're going to square the 10 and write it up here. So the square of 10 is plus 100, and we want to add that to both sides of our equation. Because what we do to one side, we must do to the other. What we have then is minus 12 plus 100 is 88. And again, we're at the step where we just do everything that we did in part one, in question one. So we have to plus or minus the square root of both sides. 
which leaves us with y plus 10 is equal to plus or minus root 88. And then what we want to do is minus the 10 from both sides, which leaves us with y equals negative 10 plus or minus root 88. What we can do from here is we can um, go one step for further and going one step further is getting us to simplify the third. So we need to simplify the third um, by thinking what numbers, what perfect numbers, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. can we divide 88 by? And what we divide 88 by is we divide it by 4. So what we have is we have that root 88 is equal to root, root 4 times root 22, which is equal to 2 root 22. So we have that y is equal to minus 10 plus or minus 2 root 22. Okay. Our last example here, what we want to do is complete the square, correct to three significant figures. So when we're asked to complete the square, correct to three significant figures, what we are asked to do is um, do exactly what we have, but instead of leaving our answer in exact form, we're going to put it into our calculator. So our first step here is to um, remove our coefficient from um, the left hand side and move it to the right hand side. So we're going to minus 34 to the other side. This leaves us with x squared plus 12x. Leave a gap. Oh, not that big of a gap. Equals minus 34. Then what we do on our next line is we write x plus the half of our coefficient of x. So half of 12 is 6. And we close our bracket and all square that. We then square 6 and write it or add it to both sides. So we're going to add 36 because that is 6 squared. So thir negative 34 plus 36 equals 2. So we have x plus 6 all squared equals 2. From here, we want to plus or minus the square root to remove the square. This leaves us with x plus 6 is equal to plus or minus root 2. What we now need to do is get rid of the plus 6, so we need to minus 6 to both sides. This gets us x equals negative 6 plus or minus root 2. So x is then equal to negative 6 plus root 2 and negative 6 minus root 2. We put this into our calculator and when we do we get negative 4.5857. Eight six four three four, which is our whole calculator screen, and when we put negative seven minus, uh, sorry, negative six minus root two, we get negative seven point four one four two one three five six two, and we've been asked to do it correct to three significant figures. So three significant figures means the first three significant numbers there which is negative 4.5 oh that 5 rounds up the 8 to be a 9 and negative 7.4 that 4 does not round up the 1 1 okay pause the video and have a go at um, solving by completing the square correct to three significant figures y squared plus 2y minus 7 equals 1 equals 0 sorry gosh Okay, what you should have done first is move the coefficient to the other side. So that means we want to add 7 to both sides. Uh, move the constant to the other side, sorry. So we want to add 7 to both sides. This leaves us with y squared plus 2y, leave a gap, equals 7. And so we have y plus half of 2. Half of 2 is 1, all squared. And we have to square 1 and add it to both sides. So the square of 1 is just 1. We then have y plus 1 all squared equals 7 plus 1, which is 8. 
to get rid of our squared, we have to plus or minus the square root to both sides. This gets us y plus 1 equals plus or minus root 8. And then we need to minus 1 to both sides to get y equals minus 1 plus or minus root 8. So what we have is y equals minus 1 plus root 8 and minus 1 minus root 8. We then get y equals, in our calculator, 1.823, oh, 128, sorry, whoops, um, 427, 125, and we get, when we put negative 1 minus root 8, we get negative 3.828, 427, 125. So again, we are answering correct to three significant figures. So our first three numbers, but we need to check whether we round up. And because that last number is, or the third number after the decimal point, the fourth significant figure is an eight, it means we do round up. So our answer is 1.83 and negative 3.83. What you guys are going to do now is complete exercise 207, question 1 to 4, 